Well guys, I recently got in the mail this copper IHS for my i9 9900KF and well, now it is a little bit like there is some oxide but that is because I left it with other metals but that's not gonna affect performance. Now this is a mirror IHS which means it was lapped out of the factory and it is designed for the 9900K and in general 9th gen Intel series. Now, since my 9900KF came without uh, IHS at all, uh, I'm just gonna open it up and put this guy and see what the temperature difference is, difference is. So now let's just get and take a look at the baseline. Here we go with the baseline. As you can see, we have a max temp of 87 degrees, but that is on the package. So, I mean, real max temp is 85 degrees. We are running ADA64. Um, which is pretty good for temps, maybe not the best for stability. And we are running at a fixed speed of, of 4.7 GHz with 1.17 of V core. All right, now we're just gonna grab our copper IHS and see what difference does it make. Here we go. Now, as you can see, the socket is pretty much open and that is because I did not remove the um, S-team from the die. So it didn't really fit and I had to use like some nail polish to actually make it close. So now let me just grab the CPU and let me show it to you properly. So this is the situation. It's kind of closed because of the nail polish, but I will still be able to open it up pretty easy. And this is our situation under it. As you can see, the S-team half fused with the die. And yeah, now we're gonna clean this guy up and actually apply our copper IHS. Now, remember when I told you that the solder would come off? Well guys, this is what the solder actually looks like. It's quite chunky, isn't it? Now just look at it. You see, it doesn't even uh, come off easily. Just stays there. And here we go guys, time to actually insert our modified CPU into the case. Now it's gonna be kind of tough, but hey, we can do it. All right, that's it. And now guys, this is the tricky part. Now my RAM kinda interferes with my CPU cooler because I put this radiator here for the GPU. So 
um, I want to be able to actually um, close up this guy on camera because I need two hands and quite a bit of effort. So see you in a sec. And here we go, it is actually mounted. Now give me a sec. I will just put it back where it belongs and test it out. And here we are with the results. As you can see, we are still at 4.7 gigahertz, 1.17 volts. And well, we dropped over 15 degrees, guys. You gotta see the max temp here. I mean, like we dropped like 17 degrees, guys. That's a lot. Now, of course, part of this is due to the STM being removed, but the copyright chest is quite insane. Now let's just move over to the conclusions.